In a gory incident, at least 18 people have been killed and 19 seriously injured after a group of female suicide bombers targeted a wedding, a funeral and a hospital in coordinated attacks in northern Nigeria's Borno state. In one of the three blasts in the town of Guaza, a lady with a baby strapped to her back detonated explosives in the middle of a wedding ceremony. According to the officials, female suicide bombers also targeted a hospital in the same town which lies across the border from Cameroon. Another attack was later carried out at the funeral for the victims of the wedding blast. We were eating and having a conversation while some other guests were praying for the couples and then I heard a bomb. Not knowing, I was also a victim. I saw some of my friends on the ground. I tried my best to escape from the scene and suddenly I find myself in the hospital and to be sincere, our hospital is a complete mess. Nigerian President Bola Tinubu condemned the attack and he called them desperate acts of terror. He has vowed stern action against those responsible for the killing in the town of Guaza. Nobody has claimed responsibility for the attacks yet, but the Nigeria-centered Islamic State West Africa province insurgents have previously claimed deadly bombings in Borno State, which has been heavily affected by the insurgency launched in 2009 by the Boko Haram Islamic extremist group. The Guaza suicide attacks has reignited suspicions that jihadist groups may be trying to reinvent themselves in Nigeria again. Well, last in November, 20 people were killed by Boko Haram insurgents while returning from a funeral service in neighboring Yobe state.